two trick differentiation problems that I cannot solve. At the end, it says ChatGPT is tripping out over this. LOL. So I will take a look at ChatGPT later on. But for now, let's see how we can differentiate t times sine t over one plus t. So by the look of it, we know that we should use the quotient rule. And let me remind you right here first. Today, if we are trying to differentiate a quotient of two functions f over g, this right here, let's go ahead and square the denominator first. So g squared. And then for the numerator, we write down the bottom function times the derivative of the first, which is f prime. And then we will have to subtract the top function times the derivative of the bottom, which is denoted by g prime. So that said, let's go ahead. I will use dy dx for the derivative notation. And let's go ahead and square the denominator before we forget. So 1 plus t and then squared. Then I'm going to write down the bottom function right here. This is the bottom function. We have 1 plus t done. Now the trick part is, how do we find the derivative of this? Derivative of the top. This right here actually needs a product rule. So let's do it on the side. For the product rule, if we differentiate two functions, f times g, this right here is the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first. And for that, I'm just going to put it down right here. We have to differentiate t times sine t. I'm going to keep the first function, which is just t, and then I'm going to multiply by the derivative of the second. And you have to remember the derivative of sine t, uh, cosine t. Yeah, so we have t times cosine t, and then we have to add the second function, which is sine t, times the derivative of the first, which is 1. Now I'll put this, multiply with that. So we have t cosine t, and then plus sine t. So that's this part. And then we will have to minus the top function, which is that. Now it's t times sine t, and then we multiply by the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of 1 is 0, derivative of t is 1, so we multiply by 1. So that's how it looks like. Then we shall multiply it out and try to see if we can combine any like terms. So on the top, I will multiply this. 1 times this is just that, so t cosine t, and then this times that is plus sine t. And then continue with t times that is plus t squared times cosine t. And then lastly, this times that is plus t sine t. Yeah. And then right here, we have to minus t sine t all over that denominator, 1 plus t squared. Usually, you do not have to multiply out the denominator because the idea is that you want to combine the top and hope that maybe this anything can cancel. So don't multiply it out. And in the end, you can really just leave the answer with this right here if nothing cancels out. Anyway, though, we see that this is positive t sine t and this is a negative t sine t. So bye bye. And that's pretty much the final answer. I'm just going to write it as t cosine t plus sine t plus t squared cosine t all over 1 plus t squared. And that should do it. Now for the second question, we will differentiate theta times cosine theta times sine theta. So this is the product of three functions. We still use the product rule, but twice. What we can do is take this as the first function and then group this right here as the second function. right? So I will use f prime of theta for the derivative notation. I will keep the first function, which is theta, times the derivative of this. But it requires a product rule, so let me do it right here for you. Take a look at the derivative of cosine theta times sine theta. Of course, we need the product rule. I will keep the first function, which is 
cosine theta, and then I will multiply by the derivative of the second. The derivative of sine theta is cosine theta. And then we will have to add the second function times the derivative of first. The derivative of cosine theta is, we have to remember this carefully, negative sine theta. And we can simplify this a little bit. Cosine cosine is cosine squared, and then theta. Positive negative is minus, and then sine is sine, which is sine squared theta. Here's the deal. In fact, if you put this down right here for the derivative of this, you're not going to get the answer in the back of the book because they use the double angle identity to simplify this. Cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, in fact, it's the same as cosine of two theta. It's just a double angle identity for cosine. So we will put this down for the derivative of this. So again, we keep the first function times the derivative of the second, and the derivative of this is that. And then we have to remember to add the second function, which is that cosine theta sine theta, and then times the derivative of the first. The derivative of theta is equal to one. Are we done? Almost. Because this right here can also be simplified with the double angle identity, but this time it will just be for sine. So let me make a note right here for you real quick. If we have sine of two theta, this right here is two sine theta cosine theta, all right? So of course you can see that this and that is right here, but we don't have the two here. So just divide both sides by two. So you can see that if we have sine theta times cosine theta, that is just equal to one over two times sine of to theta. And that's exactly what we can put down right here. So at the very end, I am just going to write this down. We have theta times cosine of two theta. And then for this part, I will just put down this. That's plus one half sine of two theta. And this is the derivative of that.